Bull Armory SAS 2 comp. We brought it out to the range to take our first shots with it. We got some arm score, 147 grain. They suggest that you use 124 grain or higher in the firearm. I did put the Mantis on the front so I can collect some data on the firearm as we shoot it. So this is actually my first shots with the gun. Let's see how this goes here. So we got our Holison optic mounted on here and you can go to SC Legal Carry. They show you how to alter the plate on the bottom of your Bull Armory SAS so that it'll accept your Holison mini optic on this firearm. A little bit of work has to be done to it to make it fit, but works out really good on there. So let's, so let's take our first shots for our Holison optic. Most Holison optics come preset. They're pretty close for your gun, so let's just take a shot here and see how close it is. I am all around that eight inch piece of steel and cannot make contact with it. Uh, let's see if we can sight this thing in a little bit and then we'll be right back. We're gonna start our mantis up again so we collect some data as we shoot. And we've got some six sire elite ammo here, 124 grain. And these are gonna be hollow points that we're actually shooting out of the gun now. And we've got our optic zeroed in, so let's take some shots with it now and see how we're doing here. I really like the way this thing shoots. It actually feels really good in the hand. I don't think it's too terribly snappy myself. And we are clear. Slide forward and hammer down. Let's reload and do a little more shooting with it. Let's see if we can get some slow-mo video of this thing functioning and running. We are clear, slide, and hammer. First impressions of the gun, I've shot a lot of guns, a lot of different carry guns, felt a lot of different triggers before. And this thing is, it is clear, this thing has the nicest trigger on it of any gun I have ever felt, especially a pistol. That's a 2.8 pound trigger pull on this firearm. I love the bobtail look on this firearm. I like that little flat trigger that they've got on the gun there. And I like the safety, the thumb safety on it too. It's easy to hit, hold down. The trigger shoe, you can get different trigger shoes, but I have no problem with shooting this one. The bobtail back here, I love that on the gun also. I don't like the big spur sticking out myself. I get such a high grip on the gun and push up right here as I squeeze the gun and I actually push the back of this rooster tail up and re-engage the safety. But I don't do that on the Bobtail 1911 style guns. This is a 2011, 1911 style firearm. I like the comp on the front of it. The comp, I think the comp is definitely pushing this firearm forward when you shoot it. I'm very pleased with the gun and I'm just gonna continue to shoot and put rounds through it and see how it performs for me. Don't push your responsibility as an adult off onto a child. Buy gun locks and gun safes. Till next time, folks. Take care.